So it's a Winnebago in 1984, you say? I think it's an 84. Okay, and it looks like you got most of the articles, belongings. Oh, no. no. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, God, yes. Because I, I think they're for four years. Kind of four years, wow. Long working on it, okay? Minnesota. So this morning, after I talked to you, I was kind of... Now... There's no broken glass. Uh -huh. This screen I took out to make it easier to, I mean, I just pushed it out a while back so I right. could get stuff in and out. Actually, oh. what happened was the door lock doesn't work. Uh -huh. Well, it works. It just doesn't unlock. Okay. Um, but. Here it is. Here it, whoa. We got lots going on in here. Well, I'm still working on it. I the bet. The refrigerator works on propane, and, uh -huh. but it isn't an old refrigerator because I called the refrigerator people. Yeah. And it had to do with the fact that my power sucked. Your power sucked out here. Yeah, and so something oh, happened it? to a little lower something controller, which is if you order it from the manufacturer, mm. you get it cheaper online. It's a little under $200. Okay. So the refrigerator refrigerates. You just kick the stuff out of your way. Right. It refrigerates, but right now it only works on propane until you get that little two hundred dollar part. However, if having a refrigerator is important to someone, I have an apartment size refrigerator that could go with it. Uh -huh. If someone's willing to take it on. <laughs> right. There's a cover. You know, one of those funny venti cover things uh -huh. over the back one i never needed one over the front one okay and the fans work really well oh the fans work good yeah and they okay. work good. they're multi um speed fans and they go in and out okay um these seats look pretty good don't they no they're they're old but oh, anyway oh, it's, thought... it's registered and insured wow. but i hadn't you hadn't know, planned on having to remove everything. Right, and I also hadn't planned on having to have the title out. It used to live right up in there, but apparently right. when I grabbed right. important papers, I must have grabbed it at a previous trip up there. No problem. But it is insured, registered, mm -hmm. and totally in my name, and free and clear title. Okay. Well, I uh, have you tried friends and family and... Uh, and uh well i thought it was gonna go and it didn't and now i'm at the end of the month and yeah. I and i don't need it because i have a three-bedroom house there you go that's great so um i just want to get I, it's gonna get i'm just ready to junk it i'm afraid it's pretty close to that it is there i just want the yeah i just yeah. want the generator out of it oh okay can't your hand uh, that gentleman out front uh, He's take... not very helpful. Not very helpful. No. Okay. So you're at that point. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Um, this is something I cannot uh, a, a take or use. I kind of... Well, I thought I would try. You, you definitely know? did. Yeah. No, no problem. You know, and it's not like I'm asking anything for it. No, I understand that. The, uh, I charge uh, a fee if it were to come to that uh, using my service. And I think you should, everyone's on a budget, so you should probably use the services that are available that are are less than the charge rate, okay. you know, as you can. And those, honestly, for the quickest, uh, most... Um, Ditch it thing? Well, no, no, no. Is to just go online and, and post that on Craigslist, offer up and let go and say it's free. But I would highly recommend posting it in the RV sections and not on the free sections because you get a different caliber okay. of person. Okay. And try that and see how that works for well, 48 who hours. Who takes these? What kind of a junkyard takes them? Junkyards don't. You have to find someone who's willing to take it, just someone you meet online. Well, what happens to these ones that people abandon? This is the, this is the conundrum. I, I've written a book about it. It's amazing. It's getting worse. So the demand is high for these because of the affordable housing crisis. Yeah. However, the state and teardrop and, and, and right. the, the hierarchy below that county and city agencies yeah. are clamping down more and more. So if someone were to take this yeah. and then they go park it on the street, you're going to get a lot of static from the city and the county and the state. And then making it more difficult for me to take it because according to all the requirements, I have to have, you know, it has talk, has 
fluids in there and they have to deal with that and in all these restrictions it's just really becoming a very uh uncomfortable position for everyone for you to get rid of it and for me to take it okay you need someone to take it for free understand i'd have to charge to take this because i'm going to have to pay money just to get rid of it i have to yeah. get rid of it okay i understand mm -hmm. yeah and um well call me if you can't have no other option well what's it going to cost me to get rid of it through you i mean i, I, I said i'd have to pay I, to have it towed someplace i i don't want you to have to use my service but we will take it out of here uh the thing is try to use something in the next 24 hours you what to your advantage you have the weekend ahead of you a lot of people look to shop online on yeah, the weekend I, I can't be around to show it to people i still have five ponies to get paperwork on to move okay. to oregon i you know i i I understand. With this thing not technically able to move under its own power. Well, if you disconnected the brakes, it would move, but it wouldn't stop. Are you sure it's the brake and not the transmission? Just wanted to clarify, uh, verify um, It that. goes backwards, and it tried, it went forward a little bit, uh -huh. but it like worked really hard. It wasn't like the engine was racing and it was slipping. It was like it... Mm, like it was hitting something like old vehicles used to do when you left the emergency brake on. The emergency brake over here is I'm sure you, you flaccid. You, oh, so it's not even activating. No, I think So it's, that won't be a problem. Well, it's except I think the brakes are locked up because it sat in water for a couple of years. Just have to, you know, I told the landlord I'd get rid of it and I don't have any options. And I'm stuck and there you go. Were you renting space here? But for the four years between the two parents going, I was virtually homeless, and so I the ponies were here. He let me park this here, yeah. you know, and it was I, I paid like thirty five hundred dollars for it four years ago when everything worked, you know. Okay, gotcha. Um, Did you try this out? It already works. It's fine for you. It I have not uh, serviced it, so I did not. I have not tried it lately. I noticed the front here says Oregon. They, they're both Oregon. What happened in the back, see here's the back plate, is oh. that I can't get the plate off. We tried a hacksaw, we tried the bolts are frozen, uh -huh. I didn't have nuts that would, I could, the holes are the same. Uh -huh. If I had nuts that fit this. Oh yeah, we just cut those off. That's it's what we thought, but it hasn't been easy to cut it off. So the, the plate's just sitting in the dash, the and, back plate. Okay, very good. And the bumper, where'd that go? What bumper? That's not the bumper? No. I have no idea. It came like that. Interesting. Okay. I didn't realize it needed something more. I thought that was a special bumper. That definitely is a special bumper. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. That's fine. Yeah. That's a, that's a special old thing. Okay. So I'm with you. And then... Uh, if that were to be removed upon transport, is something going to fly off when we go down the road? Does um, it need to be okay. secured or anything? What's under this, because it um, leaked a little, Right. we built a little board top on it, So that, but it's just bolted on. it just come off. It's not attached to the roof as it's attached to the bars. It wasn't as bad until I was gone for three months and got infested with rats. And then I killed the rats, and then I didn't want to be there anymore. Right. So, does this still have rats inside no, it? No, there's no rats. They're all gone. You They're sure? All dead. Yes, I'm yeah. positive. Okay. Believe me. You would know because there's poison that isn't legal in California anymore that gets rid of them, the peanut butter bars. I got it in 2015. Uh huh. And I had it for a year. Yeah. And then it would be 16 that I went up and back okay. in the fall, you know, almost 17. And it's been sitting here for two years. Okay. It's sad, isn't it? it? It is. Actually, I have, uh, you know, um, feelings for these, a liking and affinity for them. And, uh, you know, you, you should never have that for anything. Because you got to, you know, maybe your pet, that's fine. But, you know, other things that are... That's okay. I got ponies. I got... Yeah, I love your I ponies. scarf. What did you get there? Someone gave you that? No. It's you an Hermes I found at a thrift store. Oh, that's pretty high end. And then the rats got around it but they didn't touch it for some reason. Are you sure? Yeah. There you go. You're gonna have a nice little scarf. 
Yeah, so yeah, I understand about having affinity for things. It's hard for me to get rid of vehicles, but I don't have a choice with this. I have nowhere to put it. I can't get it where I'm going. I don't want anything for it. I don't mind giving up some to get it gone, you know. Yeah. Okay. You know, I just I just want it gone and I don't want to have to spend all my money to get it gone, but I can't leave it here. Okay. Well, let me get back to you. I'll I'll call. Uh, there's two people I have to call. One is a mechanic, and this has to go immediately to storage. And I have to pay for that, too. So let me call on well, that. You know, whatever it takes to, to get it. To facilitate this. On, but, you know, like I'm not made of money, and I'm trying to get into a new house. and Oh. And my, I just can't do, I can't abandon it. I, I have a responsibility to be... I have to be a, a, a person I can live with. They're beautiful. Those are your ponies. Those are all my ponies. Oh, they're cuties. And they're going to go with you to Oregon. Yes, that's why I, I managed to have the pony, uh -huh. even though I did not have a place to live for a year. Right. Because they, the two on this end. Uh -huh. On the left side? Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Is that true? Can you say that again? I want to hear that. Is there just going to be some? <laughs> some unfortunate drug addicted person who just wants a dry, comfortable place to sleep. <laughs> yes. A connection. Compaction. Joke's down. It's a so, long way from the gas tank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again? Yeah. This time I just got an iron. Is she beauty? Huh? What's that? She's a beauty. We were called out to pick up this motorhome, and <laughs> it has uh, started for us, but it's not moving too fast. Now, there is a uh, transmission leak, but we're hoping that it's just the wheels that are kind of frozen up in place from a long time ago. Try to get it rolling. All right. Very much being part of the solution. Um, it is, I'm guessing you have figured out it is as I have described it. Pretty much. Pretty much so. I mean, if, if, well the, well, the thing is we could put everything in 
storage containers for well, you. Well, that would be fun. I could even leave you Because the, the guy's going to have to work on it. So if you All want, right, I well, can put whatever you want. We'll just put it in. If it's junk, like, you know, like this, no. But if it's something cool, I can put everything in bag. All your trophies. Well, you know, I, I was, what I did. What are you thinking? I can't find... What are you looking for? Files? Uh, uh, my video camera. Oh, yeah, um, the video camera. Well, that's somewhere. fine. You know, what I did was I grabbed these bins and there's some of this stuff. Yeah. Said if, if you can help me here. Yep. Sorry, I'm kind of a disaster. No, we you're doing fine. Like, Look, you already have the bins. That's great. We could just, like, you can have, if you want it, you can have this. Right. That's and nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm not very strong. I'm 67 years old. You're strong. Excuse, but I'm not as strong as I used to be. I okay, to be and so what are we doing with these? Taking them out front? Well, what I'd like, this is what I'd like to do. Okay. I'd like you to kind of just be here with this one for a minute. Yes. And then I will throw stuff in it. Okay, wonderful. But I can't get it out myself is a problem because you have to pick it up. Gotcha. So I want to get as much junk out of your way as I can. Gotcha. Okay, I'm ready. I, I'll just I'll so, hold it like this and then you're going to... leave it on the center of the floor. I just can't get it out. I uh, can't no problem. I'll, I'll put it on an angle. I'll hold it. Okay. Isn't that wonderful? It is. And then... what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll just set that in there. Yeah. And then if we come to a video camera, that's yours. Well, it's a, you know, it's one of those, uh, what do you call it? Sport pros or okay. fancy things. Right. But, you know, my friend will come after work and we'll t we could take the bins in the back of her pickup truck, no problem. Where exactly were the rats coming in from? Was okay. there a hole? If you open the left-hand closet, uh -huh. or maybe it's the right hand, you pull out the drawer, the bottom drawer, apparently they, there's a hole that comes up that I didn't find until I pulled all the drawers out to empty them. Interesting. And they went into the drawers and then they died because I had poison in here and they, oh, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, it's gone for two weeks. It was not good. But I had to open it up and live in it, so I opened it up and lived in it. When you did, right. Ugh. I'm what you call low maintenance. Well, now that, that could be beneficial. Well, it has been because I have lived happy now and I have lived comfortably. Oh, very good. And you know your ponies don't mind. Well, if I have a dollar and they need food and so do I, they get it. Good. My animals always eat food. Oh, that's good. That's probably the reason why I can still wrestle on this thing. Right. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> What'd you get? Measure them? They, they dry really well. Oh, wonderful. Uh, tell me I'm not going to be in a documentary. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to be difficult here. You're doing great. And, uh... No, by the way. Am I just going to stop? Now? I'm still interested to see about this um, bathroom, but we can't get in there yet. Okay, so we were able to get everything working. Uh, we cut the brake line and that allowed us to move the unit free. So we're just letting it warm up. It's continuing to run. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Home. Oh. Going through all this stuff. Okay, so we're looking for a trash bag. What's it called? Fucking place is a trash bag. Places. 
Uh, was the trash bag black? Well, there were black trash bags. Alright. If it's just trash, it's fine. I'll dump it in the dumpster when we get there. It's fine. Oh, you've been looking for that. This is a rose pruning sleeve. Well, look at that. I'm going to put this stuff that I know I really need and I've been looking for in just that little box so I can... That scarf to keep my hands busy. You needed that scarf to keep your hands busy because you quit smoking in 1995. I did that scarf. That was what kept my hands busy. Oh. Four packs a day. Yeah. Well, you know, I, if I do something, I do it right. Oh, where was the box? Of, That's right here. I have okay, it. Yeah, it's right just that little box of stuff I kind of wanted to set aside. Okay. But, you know, I had it here because it has some documentation. Let's put it back up to the box, as you say. Um, just like Okay, we're moving. This thing's driving. This beautiful beast is actually going down the road. I gotta say, it's uh, it's not pretty, but it will be someone else's uh, new home, and that's gonna be an exciting thing. <laughs> 